Hi there, my name is Aaron Landerman. I'm a professor of electrical and computer engineering at Georgia Tech. And the problem I'm having with the MSI 8080, no matter what processor card we're using, is that when I press the stop switch, the wait light comes on, but it doesn't actually stop. So the mechanical switch is working. Right now I have one RAM card in here and I have the original 8080 processor card from 1975 and nothing else plugged in. On an earlier video discussing this issue, the user 256 byte RAM suggested I check out ICU22. The scans of original MSI schematics that you can find on the web are pretty hard to read, but there's this really nice redraw that you can find. And if we look in the lower left hand corner, we see that U22 is a 74107 JK flip-flop, and the Q and Q bar outputs are responsible for the run signal and run light, respectively. So I need to get the front panel off. One thing we need to be careful about is that the fuse here, that's hot, and the 120 volts is just brought out to the front panel here on these yellow wires and brought down to the switch. So you want to avoid the temptation to get grabby over here. So while I'm poking about, I have it unplugged from the wall. The front panel actually consists of three bits. There's this red glass here, and then the actual label for the panel, and then this plexiglass that goes in front. And here is the front panel board. Ah. There are some labels on here. So U22 is this one down here. Sometimes you can fix old computers like this by just pulling out the chip and reinserting it. And that clears out some ancient corrosion. So I'm gonna try that first. All right, let's see if that magically fixed it. All I did was pull this out and put it back. <laughs> I think that magically fixed it. Let's see, run, stop. Run, stop. Okay, so pulling the chip back out and putting it back in fixed it. There you go. All right, let me get the front panel back on. But first, I'm gonna shut it off because again, those yellow wires over there, that's 120 volts sitting right there. 120 volts AC, ready to kill me. Let's have it not kill me. 